Moto vlog two, beginner speed. This is one where I get to go a little faster. So here I do a janky U-turn. I haven't found a parking lot that won't kick me out for practicing yet. <laughs> That's still on the agenda. But I had to go a little bit further than home so I could find a less populated stretch of road so I can get a little bit faster. And generally traffic's moving faster out here too. The speed limit in New York is something like 25 to 30 miles per hour. So as you can imagine, I don't often get to go fast. And you know, the traffic thing is also a pain in the butt. So it's nice to find something slightly less <laughs> slightly less populated so I can go a little faster. I have pretty smooth acceleration now in standard traffic, so now it's getting smoother acceleration and faster acceleration when I'm not behind 20 cars at a, at a red light that's slowly crawling into the green. This is in Queens, near one of the beaches. Practice in beach towns. Sun's out, sand's out. No humans that I see. I'm hopeful that these videos help other people who are maybe newer to overcome some anxieties. I'm overcoming them as I practice each time I ride, so if you're like me, <laughs> watching these types of videos can be really helpful because you see not everyone knows what they're doing, but many of us are trying to get better each day and each ride. For me, I kind of do a baby steps approach where, okay, now I'm in regular traffic, okay, now I'm going faster, okay now. I'm going to try to lane split only at lights or whatnot. So I don't like to try too many new things at once because I'm just trying to focus on adding one new skill. Slowly creeping up. This is near some wildlife refuge. It's nice, just two lanes. And kind of scenic. That's always nice. Yeah, my speed's creeping up. Good times. It's a weird thing to start feeling the faster wind hit your chest when you're used to hardly feeling anything at lower speeds. But they say if you crouch down a little bit more then the wind doesn't feel so much like it's trying to push you. And it's true, I tried it and it felt good. I don't know what the cement truck's up to, but 
they were feeling the need for speed, I guess. Probably what I should have done was just accelerate away from the truck, uh, but I have kind of a mind my own business mental space when I ride, which is that I can see them and they're not doing anything to me, so alright, it's whatever. In theory, they could not see me and try to get into my lane and run me off the road, so I should not be so chill and be more cautious and I guess proactive so that I don't have to be reactive. Yes, yeah, bridge over an inlet. It's pretty cool. It gets a little windy on the bridge, so I definitely am probably holding on to the handlebars tighter than I need to be, but I'll get over that the more that I ride. The truck can't escape me. <laughs> You see I'm already in more traffic already, and it's only been a couple miles, I think. Definitely not even hitting 30 miles per hour here. <laughs> and also hitting a lot of potholes and lumps in the road. I can avoid a lot of them, but I cannot avoid all of them. I always put my left foot down at stops. I can't reach both feet comfortably. It would just be my tippy toes, which feels less secure and stable than just putting one foot down. Short people can ride. Although if I was much shorter, I think it would be, <laughs> I think it would be a stretch to get the one foot down comfortably. Earlier when I was riding, I used to hug the slow lane. I'd like to be in the slow lane because then 
if I got too nervous and wanted to get off the road, I could. However, it does come with its own safety precautions that are not ideal, like cars turning off the streets or cars coming out of parking spaces. And this last thing <laughs> I will show you is how scooter drivers have no regard for their own lives. I don't know whose light it is, and he doesn't know whose light it is either. I don't think he's wearing a helmet. He just went for it. He's lucky that it worked out for him, but the scooter drivers in New York are so wild. Thanks for watching episode two. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked and want to subscribe. Thank you.